Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. My name is Danica McKellar and every Monday we get together and we do something to make our weeks better. Today I want to talk about moving. Not like moving houses or apartments, but moving your body and how easy it is to feel so much better in literally seconds. Literally seconds. It doesn't take a lot. Um, and moving, uh, the very most basic um, part of that is breathing. And we'll, we'll do a little bit of moving together uh, for the next few minutes and we'll talk about that and we'll talk about how it changes our mood, how our minds and our bodies are so connected. So you are welcome, Matt. So welcome, where are you guys watching from? I'm in Los Angeles right now. Tampa, very cool. Bonjour, Belleville. Winnie, that's a cool name. Um, where else? I'm getting a lot of waves. Hi everyone, Louisiana. Hey Justin, Kansas City, ATL, <laughs> Georgia, cool. Is it the airport? The Atlantic airport? Or am I like making that up? Shreveport, very cool. It's Australia at 3 a.m. Well, you know, it's never a bad time to breathe and move and start to feel better. <laughs> hey Mark, Sudi, a little north of Philly, Bronx, New York, Seattle, Watching from Vancouver, I love Vancouver. I'm about to do another Hallmark movie, you guys, but it's not shooting in Vancouver. I'm not sure what to do with myself. Actually, the last one shot in Toronto, um, which was also different, but uh, I'll reveal all of that soon enough. But I am shooting another movie starting at the end of this month. Uh, very excited about that. You like to move it, move it. That's a song, right? Tulsa, you like the movies? Thank you, Teresa. Welcome, Rian, your first day of Paris. So I'm on three devices right now. Uh, Periscope, we're, we're doing Periscope, Facebook, and Instagram. So Los Angeles, you're watching from Peru. Very cool. You're at the airport. A lot of people are watching from the airport today. <laughs> Anyone else watching from the airport going someplace? Germany. I'm in Los Angeles, David. Phoenix, Arizona. Mexico, yes, and I am learning Spanish. People keep asking me how my Spanish is going. And I don't, I feel like I don't, I don't know enough to talk much yet. So I need to figure out something. Last time I was talking about manzanas. Uh, but I know some more things now. I just, I haven't like worked it out. Thank you, Michaela. Go Bruins. I am the lady from the Wonder Years. Yes, Predman. Oh, thank you, T-Man. I don't, Josh, I don't think they're going to do a reunion of the Wonder Years. As much as I would love to do that, I don't think it's going to happen. Um... <laughs> I want to know what love is. Oh, I love all your songs while you're serenading. Okay, so let's do some moving. Let's do some moving. Let's um, let's talk about this for a second. So when we're feeling sluggish and <clears throat> frustrated or a little bit depressed or sad or whatever, we often use the word stuck. That we're feeling stuck, right? Well, what is the best way to unstick something? To stop being stuck, like move it, right? Move it out of the way. Um, a couple days ago, I was hanging out with a really good friend of mine named Christy Morriston. She is a yoga instructor, and we were talking about the importance of movement. And, and I was saying, you know, but I feel like when I go to a yoga class, one of the best things about it is my breathing. I feel like I'm, she said, yes, yes. She said, I tell everybody this. You can have the busiest life, the most stressful life that you need to have, but if you breathe through it and just move whenever you can, you can, you won't suffer necessarily all of those um, downsides of stress that people talk about. There's so many health um, issues with stress, of course. So moving makes a huge difference. Uh, and, uh, and breathing if you can't move. So we're going to do a little experiment. So how many people, how many of you guys are going to move with me? How many of you guys are going to actually do like maybe a couple push-ups? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody? I want to get some thumbs up. Breathe, not that kind of, not breathing with smoke or vapor. I'm talking about breathing air. <laughs> What do you think? Anybody gonna like, yes? Yes, let's move. Okay, sorry. You're just gonna watch Joe. That's cool, thanks for being honest. Anybody gonna actually do it with me? Yes, Rich, you're gonna do it? Okay. Anyone else? Yes, Braden, okay. You're doing push-ups while watching this already? You're, you're ahead of me. So we're just gonna do a few push-ups, like three maybe. And by the way, if you can't do regular push-ups, let you roll off the, yes, roll off the, don't be sedentary, Ed. That's the whole point of this. Just got home from the gym. Again, someone who's ahead of me. All right, so we're just going to do um, uh, just a couple push-ups. And really the point of this, and I'm not sure Periscope will be able to see me doing the push-ups, looking at the angle of the camera. 
So uh, check out Facebook if you need to, or uh, Instagram Live. Just a few push-ups and notice what happens to your breath, all right? So perfect form if you can is just, of course, uh, plank position. Yeah, periscope, I don't, I only see, you only see my head, that's kind of funny. And actually, Instagram doesn't see my head. Facebook seems to have the best view. All right, here we go. Best, best form is if you're completely straight up and down. And notice that I'm gonna have a hard time talking while doing this, why? Because I have to breathe. Now, if you can't do that, try going just on your knees, you get a lot of the same benefit. It's much easier, and actually, it's a great way to build up to being able to do regular push-ups. All right, now, people talk about endorphins when you work out, right? You talk about endorphins, why? We're moving our bodies, but also, I have to believe this, is part of it is our breath. I had to breathe more deeply while I was doing that. Anybody else? Where did I go, Frankie? I know, the camera, I couldn't get, I'm having a hard time with all these different devices. Um, when we do this, you breathe. You have to breathe more. And when you're breathing, you're supplying all of your cells with oxygen. We, we need oxygen to live. But a lot of us hold our breaths when we're being kind of stressed out. Or, I mean, when I'm typing, I will often find myself not breathing. Like, I mean, not completely not breathing, but just breathing really shallow breaths. So when you work out, you get more oxygen. Getting oxygen, look at how my eyes dilated. <laughs> um, we can do more, you guys wanna do more push-ups? I'm getting requests for more. Now, what does crystal meth have to do with this? I have no idea, but I'm sure that it has nothing to do. <laughs> yes, endorph the endorphin high, endorphin high, it is real. And I'm beginning to wonder how much of it is moving our bodies, how much of it is moving the breath through our bodies. So, okay, well, before we do more push-ups, let's do another uh, experiment. Five deep breaths, really deep breaths. Get that oxygen into your muscles, right? Feel it go, uh, move the camera down. Yeah, I'll try to move the camera. I might mess it up though. Um, oh, no, it's gonna fall. Oh shoot, hang on. See, this, it, I'm having de devices, all right, well I can do that. But now I'm gonna look like I'm looking at the ceiling because um, the camera's down there. It's complicated, you guys. <laughs> anyway, breathing, breathing, breathing. So five deep breaths, five deep breaths, and see if you feel a little bit of that endorphin high just from breathing, okay? Here we go, here's one. And really fill up your stomach, I need you to be better at that. Okay, number two. Three. Four. Up your stomach, breathe it all the way up, and then five. Okay, so do you feel it? Do you feel a little bit better? Now, five more push ups, okay? Let's do it. Five more push ups. Let's do it. Okay, ready? And oh, now, now Periscope can see me. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, well, the breathing, the breathing made me feel good, but you know what? That made me feel like 10 times better than the breathing, to be honest. <laughs> Line dancing. <laughs> so this is, yes, breathe, and breathing is so important, but what I'm amazed at is just how quickly moving gets your endorphins going. It changes the chemistry of your body. So if you guys are feeling stuck, if you're feeling just kind of like lethargic, if you're feeling sad, depressed, whatever's going on, Whatever is going on, yes, breathe. we have to breathe what? Combine the two, exactly. Whatever's going on, get unstuck by moving. Just move, move your body. Let's do some arm circles. Just move, you guys. Whatever it is, even if it's stretching. Stretching, moving, um, like seriously, walking in place. I know it sounds silly. Just like march. And do this, not for two seconds, but do it for like a minute. And when you're, as you're marching, you'll start to just, you are sending your, your blood circulating through your body in a way that it wasn't before. And then breathe. Get the oxygen in. 
get the blood moving. And this is stuff that we have all heard on like workout videos since the 80s. <laughs> but the truth is, it really works. Um, this one of my favorite ones is like is is the cross the knee because then you really crunch your stomach. And let's talk about the stomach for a second, meaning stomach muscles. The truth is, I don't work out very much. I don't work out very much. I do a little bit. I don't do a lot. Um, mostly, oh, hi, Mom. Mostly, I was not born in the 80s, actually. I was born in 75. <laughs> um, uh, mostly, it's diet. Mostly, it's eating really healthy food. I have another friend uh, named Paul Green who talks about how he only works out a little bit. Like, he'll, Well, actually, he works out a lot, but when he, if he hasn't for a while, and then he works out a little bit, he'll notice dramatic changes quickly. And what he and I have in common is a very, very clean diet. I'm this generation's Jane Fonda. That is like the best compliment you could have ever given me, Ed. Thank you so much. I admire her so much. And I, wa I watch Grace and Frankie. It's one of the few shows on Netflix or, any, any, or on any platform that I watch. Twist your waist and bring your opposite knee up to your elbows. Yes, right, well, that's, that's what I was just doing. Exactly. Yeah, so food, that's a whole, and I could do a whole scope about, or a broadcast about food. Um, drink lots of water, you guys. Don't drink anything else, <laughs> mostly. Um, and, and, and eat clean food. A lot of vegetables, organic when you can, but the point is, vegetables, whole grains, stay away from the processed food. Just, it, it clogs things up. It will get stuck in your body. That stuff gets stuck in your body. But produce, clean produce, and, and, and just, just clean meats, Nothing fried, you know, the artificial stuff. Stay away from, when you go to the, you know when you, you're at the, the uh, store and you're buying stuff, there's all this drunk crap like in front of you while you're waiting in line trying to tempt you? That is so cruel. You have to ignore that stuff. Be better than that. Don't fall into their trick <laughs> because it's really horrible for you. So um, eat clean, you guys, because then it makes, it makes it so much easier for your body. So much easier for your body to do what you want it to do. Um, that makes a huge difference. If you're craving grease, you drink tons of water, that's great. Um, eat something else. When I was pregnant, I ate really, really, I ate so healthy because I knew that whatever I was eating was creating the little baby inside of me. And I wanted apple pie so badly, but that was not going to be healthy for my baby, right? So I did something else. I had, I would have like a tall glass of milk. I wanted apple pie a la mode. I'd have a tall glass of milk. Um, applesauce that was the only ingredient was apples and cinnamon um, and uh, whole wheat crackers and that's what I ate instead of apple pie so try if you're if you're craving grease maybe have an avocado um, almond butter something that has oils in it if you need oils there are healthy oils raw olive oil is really good for you once you cook an oil it's not as good anymore um, no Mountain Dew not for me anyway I don't <laughs> do that thank you Bob good morning to you too Eddie so that's, um, yeah, so food is a huge, huge part of it. But also, the, the exercise part is not out of your reach. It's not out of your reach because it doesn't take a lot to at least feel better. And once we feel better, we feel more motivated to do the right thing in every part of our lives. We have energy. We have mental and physical energy to do the stuff in our lives that are, it's going to improve whatever the category you're thinking about. Whether it's you really need to finish this thing for work, this email, but you just don't feel like it and you're feeling sluggish, get up and move. Don't do that yet, but get up and move. Do some push-ups. Do some sit-ups. Jog in place. Or if you can't jog in place, just march in place. You know, and do some elbow, elbow to the knee um, if you can. And, and you know what? If you need a splurge every now and then, sure. But make sure you've really earned it by having going for like a week, eating really clean. And then maybe have that one you know, treat, whatever that is. This is this is the way I do it, anyway. And it works for me, and people have asked me so many times what I do, so I like to share. Um, but yeah, move a little bit, move a little bit. Stretch, let's stretch right now. Just cause, and the reason why I do this while I'm doing this, while I'm doing this broadcast is because to show you how easy it is and how it doesn't take a lot of time or effort, even, really. Just, you have to decide, you just decide. So stretch, so just stretch all the way to the side. Ah. Oh. And then the other side. Oh. And then you could kind of twist a little bit. Oh, just get things moving. Just gently. Whatever it is. Taking a walk is great. If you guys have a dog, that's so great because then you just walk your dog. I've got a dog. Um, it's fantastic. Move your body. And breathe while you're doing it. 
So instead of going for a walk and being on your phone the whole time, just look out and breathe and take in nature. They say that looking at nature is more therapeutic than we realize. Like, but really? Crack your back? I don't, I can't do that. <laughs> um, June 30th, 1 p.m. at the Grove. Yes, Tony, that is my, my next Los Angeles book signing. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you guys. So, okay, so my next, my, one of my next, I've got two books coming out in June, two books. This is totally off topic. One of them is called Bath Time, Math Time. Oh, I keep looking too hard for this camera. The other one is called Do Not Open This Math Book. Now this is for six to eight year olds. It's addition and subtraction. And there's a little Mr. Mouse guy who's afraid of math. And so it's a really fun book to read with your kids. Um, it's also covers all the common core stuff because they've changed all the math so much, which is crazy. It's so different from when we, you and I learned it. Um, depending on who's watching, if you're a kid, it's different from how your parents learned it. And this was the um, advanced reader copy. So it's like the one that they, they make before they make the real one so everybody can kind of check it. And then I just got this one, the real one. So it's got like thicker, it's got a thicker cover and uh, it opens nicely. Anyway, it's a super fun book. So that is the book um, that I will be talking about and um, at the book signing on June 30th. And I have one in New York as well on June 26th. But McKellar Math actually just tweeted that. When do I reach 35? Um, eight years ago. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming to um, uh, Illinois. Uh, it, there's no plans for that. In New York, it's, Louise, it's going to be at the Barnes Noble in Tribeca on June 26th at 6 p.m., which is a Tuesday. So anyway, back to moving. Um, so what do you guys want to do next? Tell me what you want. You want to do some, um, uh, hang on a second. I know how to, there we go. I finally learned how to, there we go. Um, when somebody says something really rude on Instagram, I finally figured out how to block them. An activity math book for youth. Well, this one, I mean, this has activities and well, it has some activities, it has some uh, just problems. Yes, and Kevin found out that I got a higher score on the SAT. That was a funny episode. Yeah, because my math was higher. Thank you, Jean-Paul. Yes, June 26th, Tribeca, Barnes & Noble, and it's at 6 p.m. I love Dallas, Lee. I absolutely love Dallas, but I don't have a Dallas signing scheduled at this point. So what do you guys want to do? You want to do some push-ups? You want to do uh, sit-ups? Um, stretching? What do you want to do? Move. Let's breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, so I'm going to tell you guys about something that I do that I'm not ready to like share necessarily to show you, but uh, I do face exercises every morning. It's an eight minute thing that I do. Um, it comes from a, a, a CD called Face Exercise, and they make your face look really ugly while you're doing them, and I just can't, like I can't bring myself yet to burpees. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I should do that. Those are hard. Um, but anyway, every morning I do it, and it helps me. Um, pre uh, I'm thinking about it. Hey, warrior. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I just haven't, I haven't gained the courage because they're horrible. They look so horrible. But it's face your size, and I believe that it helps my face. But I didn't, I, like, I wanted to do it every morning, and then it was the kind of thing where you say, oh, I really should, I really should, but then you don't because you just don't feel like it, or you feel like, for me, a lot of times, I'm like, oh, you know, i got to start my day. i got to start my day. You know, I'm on my phone doing emails. Like, oh, i got to get up, and i really got to start this day. When it's really only eight minutes, it seems like you should have time, but psychologically, it just never seemed like it was worth it. Um, no, the face doesn't get love handles, but the face drops and does all sorts of things. Um, so I also thought I should really do yoga every morning. I gotta do some stretching every morning. So um, again, I would think, well, I should maybe I should do face exercises instead, or oh, I should just start my day. So it wouldn't happen. Neither of them would happen. Finally, I thought to myself, I know. I should combine the face exercises with yoga somehow. So I could do face exercises while I'm doing yoga poses, then I get them both done at the same time, talk about multitask exercising, and that might work. So I did that. I find, after months of thinking about this as a great concept, I finally actually put together a little face workout routine combined with my yoga exercises. <laughs> and uh, that's what I do. And now I'm much more motivated. So, um, uh, that happens. I actually do that now. And I do it almost every morning because I've combined the two and it's so efficient that my brain sees it as a valuable enough use of my time. 
don't know why I'm telling you about this because I don't want to show. So, but yes, the point is no. Yes, that stretching is, and the, these are super easy stretches. Like, literally, just like curling your knees to your chest in the morning. Just something like this, or or this one is a really another one that I do. Just a forward bend. Just, just, you know, just stretching forward and feeling the stretch on the back of your uh, legs. Just do this with me, you guys. Just, just stretch right now. Just sit down and stretch out and just feel the stretch in the back of your legs and breathe, breathe really deeply. Breathe in and out. I love how I have to tell you breathe in and out like there's any other way to breathe. I probably didn't have to tell you that part. But then I'm guiding you through it, right? Look, I'm not really a, a yoga instructor or an exercise instructor, so I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> and just feel that stretch. And just, ah, oh, and then you can like, and, and even just that, or or sitting in a, a cross-legged and, and then uh, and reaching your fingers forward and feeling that stretch. Um, you breathe side to side. You breathe, <laughs> supposed to in and out. Very funny. Um, Oh shoot, what else was I gonna do? Um, uh, yeah, well, we can just uh, twist, twisting. This is getting more into like actual yoga, but you can kind of twist a little bit. But the point is, what are we doing? What do all of these things have in common? We are moving our bodies and breathing. So the next time you are feeling stuck and like you can't really motivate to, to do stuff, whether it's you can't motivate to do work, you can't motivate to exercise, what can you do? Move. You can move. Yes, multitasker. Thank you, Yrix. Do a healthy, yeah. Well, I, what, Nick? Okay, I don't know. Oh, one uh, arm over under side planks. Um, I think I know what that is. I think that's this. But I, I don't know if I'm very good at them. This is the side plank. This is side plank. Side plank is great. Um, and then over under is when you, I think, tell me if I'm getting this right, Tony. It's kind of fun. You guys tell me how to exercise. And then you just kind of reach underneath. Ugh. Okay. I'm sure there are other people who are much better at that. This is why I'm not actually an instructor. But even just holding this pose is so great. It engages all your core and your arm, of course. Oh, okay, who's gonna do this with me? Side plank, or side plank. Oh, you guys can't see my feet. Let me show you. So they're like this. Well, you can't see, you still can't see them. Basically just one foot is on top of the other. Okay, other side. One-handed push-up. I'd like to see that too. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know, I can't do that. I can't even do, I'm not even sure if I can do 10 push-ups in a row. I guess maybe close, but, and then just try to be as straight as you can. Again, it's all about engagement. I feel like all these muscles super engaged right now. I will attempt an over-under. That did not go well on the other side. Ugh. Just even trying it, I can feel all these little muscles engaging and like struggling. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, this is something I definitely need to practice so they can do it better or at all, really. Ugh. Okay, there you go, side planks. Side planks, who's gonna do a side plank? Anybody? I am I am not high on anything other than life, Jason. No, I'm not. Not sure how to take that, but I'm kidding. I'm fine. Um, am I a big fan of cardio? Um, you know, I am a fan of cardio. I don't do it enough. Um, that's for sure. Cardio is another great, easy way to get moving. I mean, cardio. Let's let's do some cardio. Put your phones down. Put your phones down. You just kind of jog. Jog. This takes almost no effort. Guess what's happening right now? I'm breathing. Exercise is causing my blood to circulate through my body. It's causing me to breathe harder, getting more oxygen. It is so simple. You don't need a, a, an all-in-one home gym. You don't need a fancy class. This is, air is all around us and so is the floor. And that's all we need to get going, to get moving. That's it. It doesn't get any simpler than that. The air, we have air around us, hopefully, and the ground. Maybe a little bit of privacy if you care about that kind of thing. Clearly, I do not. <laughs> I'm not shy. Um, just a little light jogging. 
and this is this is so good to start the day and more than just starting the day I'm like starting you back up again in the middle of the day if you feel stuck if you feel frustrated or sad or a little depressed I always say a little depressed because I never want to speak to like clinical depression um, although in my humble opinion I feel like this helps everyone to some extent so I actually have to leave um, it is already after 10.30, amazing. You guys, this was so fun. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Move, this week, move every day. Move every day. Stretch, do some yoga, um, just feel your body, breathe the air, breathe it in, embrace it. It's ours for the taking, you guys. I don't know about heart rates, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know what, I need to get a jump rope. You know who loves to jump rope is Candace Cameron Bure, and um, she's, I come back here, I'll see you Monday, Joe, um, every Monday here. Uh, she's a big advocate of jump rope, and uh, I need to get one. I don't, I'm sure I'll be fine at it. I mean, I have some dance background. I'm sure it couldn't be that hard. I mean, I've jumped rope before. It's just been a while. But you guys might not have a jump rope. See, my whole thing is, I want to show you stuff that we can all do at any time, wherever we are, if we've got a little space, we have ground and the and the air around us so please you know breathe and move you guys and try to eat healthy I mean come on you know we have a lot more control over our lives than we realize it's funny it's funny how much we'd like to think we have control over outside things and we don't have control over those and it's amazing how little control we think we hope we have over ourselves when we actually have a lot of control over how we um, uh, how we uh, how we feel I just saw a really cool quote over here. Uh, somebody said, breathing is, what was it? Tell me again. Breathing is, like, your exhale is God's way of saying thank you. I don't know what that was, but it was really cute. Uh, tweet it to me because I have to sign off. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you, John. I'm glad you love my books. I, I love writing these McKellar math books for you guys, for your kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids, or you, whoever's watching. Again, here, this is the new one. Do not open this math book. It comes out in June. And it, yes, pre-orders are available now on Amazon. And by the way, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some free stuff. If you pre-order this book, I will be revealing that very soon. I thought it was going to be launched by now, but we're having some website issues. <laughs> so not quite yet, but probably this week. So um, keep an eye out for um, an announcement about that some, for some free stuff with this book. Again, it's addition and subtraction for ages 6 through 8. And I'm very proud of it. It's a super fun book for parents and kids to read together and um, just like there's lots of fun cats like when expanded form you know cats are stretching speaking of stretching um, anyway I, I'll tell you all about it some other time but thank you so much for joining me today with moving and breathing and you guys are awesome thank you for watching the Dana cam you are the D squad and uh, you guys are great thank you Mwah! have a great week move 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 <laughs>